Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a summer look with a winged eye. Now I've never done a winged eye and the reason for that is I always felt like it was for a younger person, that it would look harsh on me, that I was going to have that chola look and I was too old for the chola look. So, but I see everybody do it of all ages and my girl Karen, which this is going to be dedicated to her, she's watching. Um, she kind of like said try it I bet you you will look pretty and she's just being really sweet but I am gonna try it because I would like it to look good on me I just didn't think it would so I hope we're not both laughing at the end of this video because this is my first time and I see a lot of people do the wing eye first I'm not gonna do the wing eye first I think that's a final touch to the shadow so I'm gonna do the and I'm going to use uh, my Avant Garde palette. It's by um, Forever 21. And I'm going to use the colors right here. This camera is very slow. I'm used to my tablet. This green color here and this gold color here. So let's get started. So I'm first going to do the um, green or the teal in um, the crease of my eye. So I'm going to start at the end and then work towards down towards the lid but in the corner and I'm sorry I'm blocking the view and going to the crease. So I started in the crease working my way down and then working my way to the middle of the crease. So I don't know if you can see that this laptop camera is not good. So again I'm going to go from the end of the crease going towards the inside and then working way down to make sure I got the corner of the lid and then now I'm going to use the gold color oh my god this camera is going to drive me crazy um, so I'm going to take that and then I'm going to work that in the lid and the inside corner of the crease and lid. I hope you can see that. So I'm going to get a little bit more. I'm working it on the bottom of the lid. Working towards the inner corner, towards the inner crease, but not going past the green that's on the crease. So it kind of looks like that if you can see that. And then I feel like my crease is not high enough so I'm going to go back in the crease. You might be thinking I'm using the same brush in the same color. I'm not. I'm using one side for one color, one side for the other color. This brush is so old but it's my favorite eyeshadow brush that I just clean it and use it for everything. So I'm going to go back in and go a little higher towards the upper lid in the middle of the crease again but just bringing it up as I go so I'll go over it again and then I'm kind of going to go in the middle so I make sure I cover that crease really good get as far as I went with the crease get in there make sure there's enough coverage back towards the end and towards the corner of the bottom of the lid. So and then I'm going to go back in with the gold back on the lid inner corner of the crease back on the lid kind of pat it on there as well So I don't know if you could see that. Then I'm going to do the other eye. This is not matching what, what I have on, which is usually what my golden rule. But I just wanted to give you this look, and I wanted to be comfortable. It's my off day, so I'm at home just chilling. Just wanted to do this tutorial for you. So now I'm going to go towards the other eye. Oh, gotta go this way now. From the corner to the inner crease. Try to get as close to the 
um, laptop camera as possible. And then to the bottom of the lid, make sure I go in there a little bit, back towards the crease. I gotta take, I forget on, on my palettes, I like to protect them so I keep the plastic on <laughs> the mirrors and then I'm like, I'm wondering why I can't see. So then I'll go a little bit more with the green, make sure to blow to the inner crease as much without actually hitting the inner crease because that's where I'm going to put my gold. I'm going to lift it a little bit up. So I start real low and then I can always go higher back to the corner lid, back into the crease. So can you see that? And then I'm going to go in with the yellow to the bottom of the lid and the inner corner of the crease. So I don't know if you could see that. Just going to make sure that one is not higher than the other. I'm going to have to bring this up a little bit more. The green on this side and the, I'm going to have to switch places when I go to a different eye. Go up a tad bit more because it's a little bit lower than the other eye. In the inner crease, making sure I cover that as good as well. Back to the side a little bit, a tad bit higher. Back, making sure the inner crease is covered. Corner, bottom lid. Okay, now I feel that they're both even. Um, I'm just going to take my blending brush to kind of just blend it into the bra bone and I'm gonna take I already have put my foundation on I did my eyebrows um, my powder and so I already did my um, concealer on the bra bone and I had did my base powder but now I'm gonna use this blush base right here to kind of just blend it in so we're going to see how that works because it's not the actual color of the base, but I want to put like a, a slightly different effect. So I'm going to take it from my lid. Whenever you want to blend, you want to go into the color that's on the crease. And if you want more, you blend up. If you just want to blend in exactly where it's at, you go from side to side. Here, I just kind of want to blend in where it's at. I don't want it to go any higher. But with light strokes, because I don't want to take off what I put on. I just want to blend it. So that's good enough for me. Oops, sorry, got to move sides. Just very slightly because I don't want to take off what I did. I just want to blend it just very slightly so it doesn't have a harsh line. So that's good enough for me. Then I'm just going to go over the whole brow bone. So even though my base is beige, I'm going to now make my brow bone a little blush as well to kind of evenly blend in. So it kind of has like two bases. And do the same up here on this side, just directly under the brow bone, slightly just covering that empty space that's above the crease color. So Kind of like that. And sometimes you need to go in with your base when you're blending of the inner corner because it'll have a sharp corner there as well. So that's the summer look, an avant, avant garde summer look. So um, a lot of the summer looks are your teals, your golds, your 
baby blues, your peaches, salmon color, all those neon colors, pastel colors, all those are going to be, sorry, my nose itches. I'm still on the last effects of this cold that I've had for like over a week now. That whole sinus, pink eye, all that stuff. And I'm just at the last end of it. My nose just itches a lot. So forgive me on that one. Then I'm going to go in um, with my powder. And I'm just going to make sure that um, whatever I did with my powder. My Lord have mercy. I put it right back in here. I don't know why it's not there. So, um, here it is. Oh my God, I thought, where could it have gone to? Just to go under the eyes, just to make sure there was no um, color that dropped or anything. There was a little green here. So I kind of just swoop it off you don't want to rub it in because then the color rubs in then you have to do a lot of correcting you just want to take your sponge and barely swoop it off if there's any color then take another side of the sponge and then rub in make sure you got powder in there so there's not any color there is some glitter but that's okay because there's some shimmer from the makeup now i'm going to try the wing eye i don't even there's two things i could use I really don't know which one to use. This is the one that I usually use. To me, you have to have like a, see, this is the brush. To me, you have to have kind of between a pen, liquid pencil brush. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to take a chance. Have fun with me. Um, I noticed that they put it right above the lid. So I'm going to go in there. Let's see, this is too soft. I just can't, can't get used to this. Oh my god, I'm blocking from you seeing it. This is going to be difficult to do, trying to get you to see it, because then I'm going to mess up. Let's try it together. This is a difficult thing. I admire all the girls that do this. Um, I'm going to put this up here so that I can have a mirror. Okay, so I can have loose hands because it's not working that way. And then you can see it as well. So I'm trying to get in the corner here. Can you guys see that? Oh my god, this is going to be extremely, extremely difficult. Let's try it this way. Maybe you guys can get it this way. Woo. This is, oh my goodness gracious. So then, I guess you go out this way from the bottom corner. Turn it up. And then you bring that, connect it. I can already see I need to do some correcting. Lord. So, thank God I got some Q-tips. And I'm going to go in there and where it went up to. And then a little dot here. This is not an easy brush here. So then I'm going to go with the other one that I was going to go with to start with um, right here. This one's a brush as well, but I think it's a little bit easier, I'm going to say. So I'm going to try this one. I'm hoping 
you guys can see this as I'm doing it. This one does glide on a little bit better. I'm trying to see it myself. So, oh my God. It just looks really hard on me. I just got to get used to it. But this definitely is a better brush. That's <laughs> my winged eye. I had to do a little correcting. Like I said, it's my first time. It's not easy. I'm sure maybe um, a different eyeliner would be easier. Um, like I said, the kind of the the pencil. There's a pencil eyeliner one that. My daughter has so I'm gonna attempt this one well I'm just not used to it. Oh my God, I feel. Oh my God, it's just really weird to me. So I'm going to just take that bottom corner, connect it to the bottom if possible, and just kind of. Connect it to the top there. I feel like the right one came out better even though I felt more comfortable on this side. Got to do some correcting. Thank God it corrects easy. Sorry, had to do some correcting. I feel like this one over here needs to be a little bit thicker. Oh, God, I am covering you guys from seeing. I really, really like. I don't like the wing eye look on me at all. I really, really don't. And it's not that I'm not doing it good. It's, you know, other girls do it that have more practice. It's just um, it's stressing me out. Really, truly stressing me out. And but my God. I just think it takes away from the whole look I really do think it takes away from the whole look it's just I don't like it I did it for my girl Karen See, Karen, this is what I mean, but I did it for you, and so I'm just going to go ahead and finish the look. I'm trying to find, um, you know, actually I'm going to finish the look off with my eyeliner. I like to do it under my eyes for sure. I always have done it under my eyes. I love liquid eyeliner better than pencil eyeliner. 
under the eyes is my thing I'm very comfortable with that That one I am comfortable with, no matter what color it is. Is under the eye. just nope <laughs> just not feeling it oh my god especially some more and I just corrected this one a little bit oh. so it doesn't look as bad I'm gonna have to go in with the green of the avant-garde palette kind of fix it sorry my nose is still runny there's my brush you know, it might just take practice, and but I don't think it's even so much the practice. I just think it's not a look that I like on me. I think it really takes away from the eyeshadow. It just, just looks really harsh on me. It's like I'm trying to be somebody I'm not. I think that's the better way to explain it. Um, the more I look at it, the more I hate it. But this one is starting to look good. Um, maybe if I could tone this one down. Oh, my goodness gracious. Go back in with the green still a little too harsh maybe if I did I would probably have to do a really tiny wing that's barely noticeable But I really just, I don't even like the eyeliner on top of the eye. I don't like it. I really never have. My sisters used to do it like this in the, back in the 70s. Um, so it's really tiny. I don't know if you could still see it. That's how I would use it if I use my wing eyeliner. Very small length on the corner coming from above and below. But I really don't like the above line. So, okay. <laughs> I'm so happy you guys bearded with me and understand that I'm the type of person that I'm a licensed cosmetologist. So, I know what to do with everything when it comes to hair, makeup, and nails. I'm a professional. And, of course, I know that if I did this look every day, that I would perfect it more and more but because I was never interested in it because of the way I felt it looked on me and I could do other people better because it was it would be something they like and my hand would be a little bit easier on their eye versus I'm really um, hard on my eye and of course I know how to do of course I know how to do a 
a wing eyeliner if I did it every day and I got more comfortable with it and more practice because practice makes perfect and if it was something I was interested in and liked of course I would do it and I would be really good at it like I've always been in hair makeup and nails and um but because of the fact that I never was interested in it like I said I don't like it I don't like it the way it looks on me I love it the way it looks on other girls I just don't like it the way it looks on me that's why I never even bothered to do it because I know what I like and what I don't like and um it's just really like <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it anymore that's pretty much it it's not something that's what it boils down to it's not something that I like or am interested in on me like I said it to me it feels like a harsh look that's why I was kind of seeing that chola look um, it just feels too much like it's not necessary like it takes away from the beautiful design of the eyeshadow for me like, like I said I like it on other people most of other people but um, but you know I'm really get, glad I tried it I'm really glad I can't even speak I'm really glad that my girl Karen inspired me to try it just to at least give it a try I did it for you Karen I love you <laughs> and I really hope that now you can see what it's like on me and she's so sweet she's probably gonna say you do look good with it, it came out good because she's so sweet but um, I hope at least she, that you understand a little bit why I felt the way I felt and so um, I don't think I would be doing it in the future on me um, so that's pretty much it other than um, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my blush and my lipstick and um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do that while we're here why not go ahead and put some lipstick on let's do the mascara this is the color um, whispers it's a plum prospect that I'm wearing the only thing that I needed left to do was the mascara so um, I'm gonna use um, the new one I bought Wonder Lash it's not the miracle uh, mascara that I like but it has argon oil. I definitely want my lashes to be healthy and really soft looking. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on just to give it that finishing look. And on the bottom, of course. Ah. ran into my eye. Okay, then I'm just going to do the other side. Just to show you the complete look. Go underneath. Try not to cover. You guys are seeing what I'm doing. Try not to cover what I'm doing. <sighs> Oops, sorry, just getting some mascara that kind of went in. And the blush. The blush is what I forgot. I'm going to use um, the baked eyeshadow from Forever 21. It's this one right here. Oh, oh my god, I had my mirror up here the whole time that I could have kind of depended on. You always put your lips like that so you could get the definition of your cheekbone. Um, so I got that on. And voila, that's like the finish look. And so we tried it. I'm kind of glad I did try the wing eyeline so that you can kind of hear my story of why um, I never did it. I'm not comfortable with it. And I like it on 
on most other people. There's some people that do still look harsh to me as well. But um, if you're comfortable and happy with it, it's something you like to do, by all means, you know, that's what you should do. And I just can't express it enough. It just doesn't feel right on me. Um, and so um, I don't like anything to take away from my eyeshadow because that's like the main event of the makeup is the eyeshadow. So, and it, I'm looking in the mirror and it kind of looks good and I don't know, maybe if I found like the perfect um, wing eyeliner that would semi go good on me in just that slight corner, maybe I'll do it again in the future. Um, but I'm glad I tried it. Thank you for going on this journey with me, Karen. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I would love to hear what you think and all of you, you know, if you think, hey, it wasn't perfect, but hey, you gave it a try and it actually does look good on you. Keep trying. I would love to hear your positive feedback. Um, that would mean a lot to me. Um, anyway, if you like this video or just want to comment, please feel free. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. Um, and until my next video, thanks for watching.